Welcome back to the channel and welcome to this episode of Mark's Garage. Today we're going to be working on the 2024 Honda Goldwing. That's the Tour DCT that I own. And uh, I have already installed the upper air deflectors. And today I got my box right here. This is the Honda lower air deflectors. So we're going to be working to put those on. We'll show you exactly how that goes. And uh, again, appreciate you tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing to the channel. And so let's get started. All right, we are ready to do an unboxing here. We've got some Honda Genuine Parts. This is the lower air deflectors, so we're going to be installing those. Let's open up this box to see how this is packed. Be careful with utility knives. Okay, here's what's in the box. So we've got the two air deflectors nicely wrapped and protected and it looks like our hardware bag it's a hardware kit right there let's go ahead and open that up in here. Wow. I think they put them in a little plastic bag, but it is what it is. Alright, so it looks like one, two, three, four, five, they look like well nuts. There's a threaded spot there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. We've got these little, small, little rubber pieces here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got some small black rubber washers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We've got some white plastic washers. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we've got, looks, looks like these are all the same. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's all the hardware. All right, we're on the left side of the motorcycle. The first step in the process is to remove this panel. There's two five millimeter hex screw bolts, right? One there, one there. This is called a deflector panel. We're going to take that out and we're going to have to uh, drill some holes. What you see here is I'm using this little sacrificial board underneath the inner cowl where I'm going to drill and that I think provides a nice stable spot and then you can hold it and you make sure you don't uh, damage your table or your workbench.
There we go. And then we'll just clean up any little bit of debris around that hole. After you have all your holes drilled and you've removed any burrs, the next thing is that you go ahead and you grab one of these little guys, one of these little rubber grommets, and it enters those one of those three small three millimeter holes from the finished side. And then what you end up with is right there, you end up with nice little rubber bumpers right there and that will help quiet down the deflector uh, once that gets installed. All right, with our panel now reinstalled and re-snapped in, what we're going to do is uh, make sure we use those shoulder bolts that we originally took out. There's two of those. So we're going to put those back in. One below and one up above. So what that sets up next is for us to install uh, in the three spots where we drilled out those nine and a half mil millimeter holes is this unit right here and uh, they fit right into place. Okay, there's the second well nut. These are called well nuts and the last one fits right there and then what that sets up is we are now ready to install the wind deflector which fits like this and what we're doing to do that is the supplied hardware right here's a stainless five millimeter hex and there's two washers on that there's a white washer that's against the head and then there's a little rubber washer underneath that. So that's what we're going to use. I think we'll start with the middle, maybe this middle hole here. There we go. Yeah, and we'll get the rest of that attached. All right, so we just, uh, with fingers, finger tight here, and now we can work to tighten these up a bit.